This is an apricot and it produces quite well. Got beat up a lot from cars running into it and stuff like that at the beginning. And that's our avocado tree. You can see the little avocados here just starting. I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to farm the city, basically. Right now we're eating lovage, we have horseradish. This is a row crop area, and this actually used to be lawn. We have a big lot in a city, and we try to produce all of our own meat <laughs> and our own milk. We have honeybees. So we try to just be as self-sufficient as possible. Those are lolly berries. Here is a thornless blackberry, which is a great thing for the city. You could plant it on fences. And this is a grape. And grapes are wonderful for city environments because you need very little dirt and they'll just climb up all over the place. These are our summer vegetables. Our food production system is just tragic on so many levels. Socially, ecologically. So we're trying to help fix that with whatever little bit we can do. We have squash, we have cucumbers, we've got artichokes. My grandparents' generation, they raised a significant portion of their own food. This is a brown turkey fig, and then we have rhubarb. Then we went through this period where convenience was the name of the game and cheap petroleum. And then on the fence is chayote vine. It's like a squash from Central America. And now I think my generation, we're starting to realize the benefits of producing your own food. And also we're starting to run out of petroleum. These are peanut plants. And then there's basil there. We're letting these leeks go to seed because we want to collect the seed. So in a way it's kind of like going back to the idea of the victory garden. Producing food locally, <laughs> using less energy to produce food. And the food is so much fresher and so much better. How much do you have to buy at the supermarket or the, or the farmer's market, wherever you go? Are in you self-sufficient? Right now we're buying avocados and tomatoes. And that's pretty much it. We have onions, we have greens. We're still eating our cauliflower. We have kale, zucchinis are starting to come in. We'll have cabbage soon. If you eat what you grow, you know, I mean, if we wanted to have a certain dish, maybe we would have to go out and buy it but we just eat what is producing this time of year. These are parsnips, and these will be eating in the winter. So in the winter we have carrots, cabbage, kale, broccoli. We've been here 13 years now, so we kind of know what to plant when.